Welcome to the Oratory. I'm your host, Jimmy Hendrick. Uh, James Hendrick, rather. James Anthony Hendrick, Jr. I am a self-published author, motivational speaker, and podcaster. And blogger. You get ready to join a, with me a journey of six days of teaching you the tools and the tips for personal and professional development and for success in general with public speaking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had a dry run with this. wasn't very successful because <laughs> technical difficulties in a funny way. But anyway. I've been wanting to do a podcast or a show like this. So I also make it a a, a, um, a show, a, a podcast show about public speaking and how important it is, okay? I'm sitting here on this sunny, day, this snowy day here in West Texas. And I want to talk to you about some basic things about, about uh, having, being a, a fine orator. A great public speaker. Because whatever whatever career you have, whatever business you're in or like, you need public speaking to grow. So here's the plain truth, the baseline truth. Be coachable. I have, being a, a member of Toastmasters Club, Otis of Toastmasters Club, I've had a variety of coaches that have really helped me carry far into the type of person that I am called to be in. So, there we go. That would, it, it's, it's something that can really help me out a lot. And being coachable, sometimes it really means sitting there and taking the constructive criticism after you've taken action. You go by what your mentor says, take action, and be willing to receive constructive criticism so that you can. And, and, and so that you don't get your feelings hurt, you know, or get, get offended or such. Or, or as, as Del Toro McNeil says, get an attitude. But I very rarely do I get an attitude. If I get an attitude, I usually do my best to give myself an attitude adjustment, if you know what I mean. But being coachable is, is something that is key. It's very important here for you to begin to, to, even, to even grasp here. Being cultural, having that, be, being in that chance to be cultural, okay? Number two, be in a season of hustle. If you're using public speaking as, as, a, a, as a business or if you're using it to, to grow a business or, or even, even with your, your, your job or your career as you want to call it, you need to have a season of hustle. And I'm talking about a peanut butter and chocolate spread type hustle, if you know what I mean. You don't know exactly what happens, but you hustle, and and there's the reward right there. Right there. And and I say peanut butter because um, when I was hustling during my latter part of my junior year, I was living off of peanut butter most of the time. Because the housing had shut off my meals. And so that's why I call it a cheap peanut butter and chocolate spread type of deal. So I hope that you begin to grasp this. And hopefully tomorrow you'll, you'll learn more. I'll be able to teach you a lot more from what, you, from what I'm teaching you today. This is a short podcast. This is Jimi Hendrix saying that this. That, that. We hope that you like what you hear on the oratory. If you do, please hit it, subscribe, because I would love to have you come along with me on this journey. Take care, and God bless.